Hey, it's Mike. Let's talk about Reaper. Today I'd like to talk to you about SWS Auto Color. If you don't already have SWS extensions installed, be sure to click the link above for instructions on how to do that. SWS Auto Color is an extension that allows you to automatically color tracks, markers, and regions based on naming conventions. You can also automatically change track layouts and icons based on the rules you create. Let's take a look. To start, I'll create a few tracks and show you how this works. I'll add five new tracks. As you can see, they are the standard default gray. If I change the name on track one to GTR for guitar, you can see that that track turned green. If I change track number two to bass, that track is turned blue. If I change track three to drums, that track has turned orange. Now if I take all of these tracks and I create a folder from it, with the guitar track being the parent, all of the child tracks have turned green to match the color of the parent. Let's take a look at the extension and see how to set this up. If you don't have SWS extensions installed, click the link above to find out how. I'll click on Extensions and go to Auto Color, Icon, and Layout. You can see that I've got some rules already established, and these rules do have a priority level. My first rule says that any marker that has the name equal start, it will take on the color of blue. So if I create a marker here and give it the name equals start, that marker has changed from the default red to blue. I have the same coloring set up for the special marker equals end. Rule number three says that any child track should be the same color as the parent. And then I have individuals for certain situations. Rule number four says that any effects track should take on this gray color. To be clear, with these naming conventions, the track doesn't have to be named exactly as I have it listed here. It simply looks for this wording to appear in the track. And these are also not case sensitive, so it can be uppercase or lowercase. For example, I'll click on track number four and rename that effects lowercase but you notice it doesn't take on the color that I've dictated. That's because rule number three says that the child track should be the same color as the parent. Since that's a higher priority than rule number four, track number four continues to keep the same color as the parent. If I take track number four and right click and move up in priority, you can see that track number four has now taken the color that I told it to in the rule because that priority level is now higher than the child track. I'll delete these tracks and create a few more to show you the other rules that I have. Let's add five more blank tracks. We'll make track number one, guitar one. We'll make track number two, bass, DI, all lowercase. We'll make track number three, vocal. You can see that track number three takes on the purple color and the track is not named VOC, but simply contains VOC in the word vocal. If I rename that track lead vocal, it still keeps that purple color because the letters VOC appears in the track title. For background vocals, I'll put BGV that takes on the same purple color. Rules nine through 11 deal with vocals because sometimes I may use the word vox, sometimes I may use vocal, sometimes I may use VOC, sometimes I may use BGV for background vocals. No matter which of these conventions I choose, it still takes on the same color so that all of my vocal tracks will take on that purple color. If we take a look at options in the auto color dialog, you can enable auto track coloring, auto marker coloring, auto region coloring, auto track icon, and auto track layout. Let's create a new rule for track icons. First, I'll need to enable this option. To create a rule, click Add Rule in the lower left corner, and it's added rule number 12. Your rule type can be either track, marker, or region. Since we want to do a track icon in this case, we'll leave it at track. We'll still need to add a filter, and that filter can be name, any, unnamed, folder, children, receiver master, record armed, or VCA master. We're going to go with the name in this case, and we'll name it Sheila because why not? Under the icon column, right click and choose load icon, and this will bring up Reaper's icon browser. We'll give any track with the name Sheila the trash bin icon. Let's take track number five and call it Sheila. If I make this track larger, you can see the waste bin icon has now been added to that track. Now if I take all of the tracks that I have and make the guitar track the parent folder, all of them have turned green, but Sheila still retains her icon. I don't currently have any region rules, so let's make one. I'll add a rule. The rule type in this case will be region, and I'd like to make a rule so any region containing the word verse has a specific color. I'll right click under the color column and choose set color, and it brings up a color picker. Since verse starts with V, let's choose violet. Now I'll create a time selection and press shift R to bring up my create region dialog. I'll call this verse one. And that region takes on the violet color just like we set up in our rule. 
Some of you may not like the default gray color that Reaper makes its tracks. We can change that as well. Let's add a new rule. This is going to be a track rule. And for the filter, let's change that to any. Under the color column, right click and choose random. Let's delete the tracks we had before. And if I right click and add five more multiple tracks, they all come in with a random color. Since this rule is at the very bottom of our priority level, if I go back and name any of these tracks using the conventions that we have in our rules, those tracks will behave according to the rules we've set. And if I make a folder track out of any of these, it still obeys that rule. You can see that track number three for effects has kept its gray color, but that's because earlier I moved the priority for effects up. Let's move that back down in priority, and it's now taking on the color of the parent track. You can also create rules to change the track control panel layout or the mixer control panel layout based on naming conventions. Be sure to enable the auto track layout. And this one's a little bit tricky because you have to know the name of the layout. With the default Reaper 6 theme, if I go to Layouts under Mixer Panel, you can see that the names are quite simply named A, B, or C, or they may have a scaling percentage listed if you're using a 4K monitor. The same is true of the Track Panel. Other themes may have more complex names, you just have to be sure to know exactly what the layout name is that you'd like. Let's create a rule to change folder tracks to a specific layout. I'll add a rule. The rule type will be Track, and for Filter, we'll choose Folder. And this will say that any track that's a folder will take TCP layout B, and we'll do the same for mix control panel. And now that I've done that, track number two, which is a folder, has taken on layout B for both the mix control panel and the track control panel. Let's try this with a different theme. I'll switch to LCS flat six. And if I take a look at the layouts for this, I have a lot more options. For the mixer panel, I'd like to use strip B blue. So under the MCP layout column, I'll change that to match what the theme calls it, which is Strip B Blue. This particular theme changes the fader to a knob if the mixer height is not high enough. So let's increase this, and we can see that the fader is blue for this theme. If I change back to my default theme, that rule no longer works because there is no layout in this theme called Strip B Blue. So this has to be adjusted based on the theme that you use. The auto color extension adds a great way to better organize your products to where you can quickly determine what track is what based on coloring. I hope this helps. If you like the content you're seeing, be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and you can support the channel further by clicking the Buy Me A Coffee link below. I like coffee.